I don't. Next month, Michael Anthony Smith will have been in prison three years. His alleged crime? Participating in a gang rape during a party at this Battlefield Boulevard house in January 1979. Smith and two other boys went to the party with the victim and took her home too, comforting her along the way. So he was flabbergasted when she accused him of not only rape, but assault and sodomy as well. He believes police must have helped her along. I don't know if uh, she just decided, well, uh, it could have been him or if she was getting pressure from the police saying, look, you've got to know somebody. Since his conviction, Smith has been pushing for a new trial. The key new evidence he believed would come from this man, sure. Bill Stansel, former president of the feared Renegades Motorcycle Gang. Yes, Stansel says his gang took over the party well, and, and that it was a renegade yes, named Ricky who well, actually assaulted the girl. Yeah, we'll Mike Smith, he claims, had no Smith part in the Stansel. crime. Stansel repeated that today in a circuit court hearing before Judge William Hodges. His testimony was corroborated by James Hockman, who was also at the party. And under questioning by defense lawyer Joseph Canada, Sherry Borak, who as a volunteer with the Tidewater Rape Information Service, counseled the victim after the crime, admitted that the story the girl told her and the one she gave during Smith's trial were in some respects quite different. But Judge Hodges denied the motion, saying there was insufficient evidence to require a new trial. Attorneys present said Hodges apparently agreed with the assistant Commonwealth attorney that there were too many inconsistencies in the testimony presented. But Michael Smith's father believes the judge had his mind made up before the hearing even began. Mr. Smith feels his son never had a chance in a Chesapeake court. He's hoping for better luck at a higher level. I intend to uh, uh, appeal the decision today. Uh, and uh, pursue any avenue that I can in order to uh, vindicate my... In Chesapeake, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.